together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty excited about pretty it. Excited. I'll just go. I'll just. That'll be cool to get it out, put it together, and use it. So here we have the accessories box for that bike, which is all the the running boards in the front cargo basket and the rear cargo basket. So we put all that together. A couple of weeks ago, we had a company reach out to us about their e-bike and they wanted us to check it out, try it out, see what we thought about it. So this is a company called Hobsco and they are out of California and they've got this bike that is a cargo bike. And I'm real thrilled. We're gonna pull it out and put this thing together so we can sample it. It's got a couple of really cool features that I'll go over in a minute. Hosco is offering a hundred dollars discount on any purchase for all of our viewers. So if it looks like something that might work for you, go check out their website, hobsco.com slash mountain maple ranch and use discount code MMR at checkout. So I'm gonna show you a couple of pictures of what this thing looks like just off of their website. And it's called the Hovsko Hov Cart. It's got a couple of really cool features. It's a 450 pound capacity. It's got a torque sensing drive um, with a, a hub drive motor. It's got a 720 watt hour battery with about a 60 something mile range, 60, 65 mile range, depending on use. It's pretty cool. I'm real excited to get it out of the box and check it out because it's not the first time we've had um, an e-bike, an electric bike company reach out to us. And each time in the past, it's more of like a street road cruiser, kind of like pedal around the neighborhood kind of bike. And I always turned it down because I thought there's no application for me to use that kind of a bike up here. I'm three miles back to pavement and it just doesn't make any sense for us around here. These guys, however, reached out to us and, and kind of highlighted this little bike that they've got. And I was beyond impressed once I started looking through it and checking into the bike. And I thought, man, that would be a cool thing. I could see that thing working out. Uh, a couple of things that I really noticed about it out the gate that were a lot more beneficial for us is it's got 20 inch tires, which seem small, but they're 4.0s, which is big fat tires. So you got a lot more surface area for bike and the bigger, more balloon like tire absorbs a lot of the rock and gravelly kind of stuff. So that's a cool feature that's going to be really nice on that. That's actually one of my favorite features about my mountain bike because I ride a mountain bike that's got a big fat wide tire on it too. And it feels more like a dirt bike to me. So I love that feature. Uh, the other thing is this has got a rear cargo rack that's got good solid frame mounts for the rack. And then on the rack, you have different types of accessories you can mount on top of that. Uh, there's also a basket for the front. Now, one cool thing about that, most of the baskets that go on front of bikes mount to the handlebars. So every time you spin, that basket is moving around anytime you turn the handlebars. And so it can cause some imbalance and off balance when you're trying to navigate if you have any kind of weight in there. Theirs mounts directly to the headstock on a frame. So it's solid and stable with the main frame of the bike. It has no effect on the steering and no effect on the throwing around the weight of whatever you're packing in there. I really think this thing is gonna be a game changer for us I think we're going to be able to use it every day on the farm. I use our Ranger, our little buggy, and we drive around on that thing and we probably put three to five miles every single day. So on days when I'm doing a lot of watering for the gardening, for example, and crank up the power so I don't have to work so hard. I've got to go down, check water, set a timer, get it put, turned on and set a timer and then go and adjust another sprinkler somewhere else, come back and I'm bouncing back and forth and it usually takes me about three to four hours to get through a watering on a single day cycle of watering all the gardens. So I think the e-bike will work out perfect for that so I can buzz down, change the sprinkler here, change the sprinkler there, come back up and I'm not gonna be burning diesel fuel trying to do it. 
So I'm pretty sure we're gonna be using this a bunch on those little things where it's, I need to run down to here, grab this, check that, maybe take some things here, a, a five gallon bucket of pig feed up to the pigs. Got my bike all loaded down with pig feed. I've got the compost bucket with their grain and a bunch of excess corn and they are ready for it. But that biked up here real easy. Not to mention, I'm excited to see what it will do in the rest of the efforts on this farm for maybe being able to put some fencing tools in there, go checking fences, just some cool little things like that where we don't need a lot, but we got to be able to get a, you know, a five gallon bucket worth of tools and equipment somewhere or back and forth. And then, you know, time allowing, it'd be really cool to check this thing out for recreational purpose. I'd love to go put it on our trails and, and really put it to task and see how it does in more of a recreational off-road kind of use. So it has a headlight? Yeah. Is it pretty big? No. But it looks pretty focused. Hmm. This has got a cool kickstand. It's like the old Trail 90s and stuff used to have where it's got the U-shaped kickstand. Mm -hmm. Some of the old street bikes had it that way too. You had a main, a main kickstand that you could set it down on and turn it to and lay it kind of on its side a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that was just your general parking kickstand. So then it had a maintenance and like long-term parking stand that would also drop down a U-shape like that and lift the rear tire off the ground and just set it up and back and more stable that way for longer storage pretty classic old school throwback to 60s 70s 80s bikes it's got index shifting it's actually a shimano indexer for the derailleur mm -hmm. for the rear derailleur that's kind of nice it's even got the wood grain oh it's cool <laughs> yeah so when we're going uphill we're going to trade bikes you're going to let me borrow this one and you can use the pedal bike. I think I veto that plan. <laughs> but I can tell you right now, I'm probably already going to be missing my dropper post that I have on my stump jumper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the coolest thing. But you're not going to ride, you're not going to ride yeah. this bike like you ride your dirt, like your mountain bike. I mean, Maybe we'll see what this thing can do. <laughs> if you if you put it to the test like you do with your like your you like your dirt bike and your mountain bike, I just hope it can handle it, and I think it will because it looks really. I mean, the frame's super robust, all aluminum, heavy duty, good welds. Yeah, see, I like that you can just like walk through it. There's not a bar right in the middle. Yeah, I like that too, especially when it comes to like doing the stuff on the farm here mm -hmm. and doing chore stuff. That's going to be so much nicer to just be able to step over and not have to, not have to like tip and get down off. Of yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah. Because that's always, that's never going to work when you've got gear <laughs> mounted on this thing. So. It does have a cool handle built into the seat right here mm -hmm. for that kickstand. So you can push it down here and pull back on the seat. Oh, that's cool. That pulls the weight up mm. and onto the sand. These are the little running board platforms. That's pretty cool too. Because bolt down here like that. So you don't have to do like we did in the old days, putting your feet on the little nub, nub of stud bolt down here, or putting your feet here and trying to keep them out of the chain and the spokes. So what you're saying is, I don't really have to take a bike. You can just take me on a bike ride. Yeah. There you go. Hey, it's 450 pounds capacity. So that means that I can take you and me and a bucket of fence and tools, and we can go do some work. That's true. That would be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> But yeah, and it could take us on terrains that, yeah, our our buggy wouldn't dare yeah. go. These are our big flat back buckets that we use for the pig feed. And they fit in there perfectly now. Without even trying. Don't have to squeeze in the nothing. 
I think you could fit two of them in there if you needed to. So how heavy duty is the basket in the front, you think? It's pretty good. It's you, max 10 kilos. So that's 22, 22 pounds. pounds. Yeah. I'm getting anxious. It's all bolted together and ready to take it out, but I've got to go through the last little setup steps to make sure I do this right. But so right on the display, there's this little decal that has the QR code and just says to scan this before you take it out, which brought you to the website to get their app downloaded. And as soon as I downloaded the app, it asked to sign up, just an email and password for logging in. And then to connect to the bike, it just said, scan the code. So I scanned the unique code again, and it immediately registered the serial number. I haven't gone through it yet. I just, I just logged into it. So it tells, shows me the total mileage and the total excess exercise time, things like that. So it's kind of neat. It's cool that it tracks that. The fact that it's connected to the Bluetooth is kind of neat to be able to see what's happening with it. So, so I, when I rode an e-bike like that, I don't think I had that option. Like to know where it, like where it stands and stuff like that. Like there's the little headband. It's not much. It's mostly like a, Hey, I'm out here, you mm -hmm. know, like a nighttime headlamp to yeah. make other people on the road aware of you. But it is a little directional pointed headlamp. Up there, That's forward. cool. It's probably bright as heck out here where we have zero light pollution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Pass one, pass two, three, four. So I assume that's your assist mode. Mm -hmm. One through five. Yeah. Oh, the one I wrote only had up to four. Zero through five. So you can just hardcore pedal it if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like the zero, but then when you want to climb the hill, um, yeah. when I did it in Seattle, when I had to climb the hill, I only had to use it up to two. I have a feeling our hills here are not like Seattle's. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is they're not They're We are on a mountain. So I'm kind of excited to see like how, well, our, our does it have a shock thing in the front? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's, a it's a spring fork, but it does have the a lockout, an air lockout and stuff for that, so that's pretty cool. And I just need to make sure we got everything else on the, I haven't even looked at the back. I guess I should make sure all that back here is good before I get all anxious and go pedaling down, vomiting down the mountain without checking the back tire. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. I've got it cranked up to number five, like full assist. Okay, yeah. Look, look, look. Look. Yeah, you're off. You're off. You take I off. Push down a little, and it's like, let's go. Yeah, you're you're out of here. When you push just a little bit, you're off. I got up there, and I was like, oh, I need to work. No, 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 no. you don't have to you work. Just have to pretend to move your feet. Yeah. Just pretend, like body on. Oh, let's just go right up this hill, like it's nobody's business. I'm gonna get fat and lazy doing mountain work like this. <laughs> <laughs> that is but you can awesome. go everywhere. I'm literally like I almost have to try to keep my feet going with the pedals. Yeah. To keep up with but it. But that's only on level five. You literally can be a level two and it feels the same. Go go to the second level just real quick and go up the hill on on level two. On level two? Yeah, you'll 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 notice it's very similar and it's very like, it's nice. That's level two. Okay, see yeah, ya. It's still easy as that. It's really easy. Was it a little harder? That's like my new favorite togo. It's so fun. <laughs> That's a riot. That's so easy. I can't believe it. That's a whole different level of pedaling. Yeah, it's way nice. I'm not even trying to work hard at all. Like, I can do that on my stump jumper. And I know I did it. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't, I can easily see myself with 50 or 80 pounds of cargo and just go 
Yeah. So level two wasn't bad, right? No, like, it was easy. And that's a steep hill. Yeah, it is a really steep hill. That one's, that hill right there is, uh, I think 16% grade of elevation. That's steep. That's yeah. steeper than any highway mountain pass. I saw, I saw you kind of push a little bit on your pedals. Is that, was that, did it feel like you had to kind of. On number two? Yeah. Number two, I had to tell it that I wanted to go up. Number five, I just had to pretend to keep my feet going. <laughs> And it was just like, oh yeah, the pedals are moving. I better move too. <laughs> and it was just stupid easy. Yeah. And oh, listen, oh, oh, no, hey. Too. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, there is a throttle. I forgot to tell you that. Oh no. Oh, no that's a game. That's like, let's go. That's back fun. Okay, go ahead. And let's go motorcycle this thing. Let's see. Oh yeah. yeah. Now we're back into my wheelhouse. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Look, he's not even pedaling. He's not even pedaling. That's all motor, not me. That's pretty damn good. Yeah. The fact it's cranking up that steep. I'm not spinning out. That's a moot scooting boogie. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how much battery do you have left? Uh, I've come down one little bar. That's, it, that has worked for, and that just went, the fact that it went up that, and even our Ranger, 24 horsepower Ranger, mm -hmm. grunts to go up it. That sucker just goes. You know how gravelly this is, like we're walking yeah. down this road and it's so dry and the gravel on there makes it like marbles under your feet. Mm -hmm. And it's real easy to take a slip step and just slip a little bit oh, yeah. up and down it. I actually have fallen one time and then I'm like, oh, hopefully nobody saw it. This thing just grips. It does, there's enough surface area on those big fat tires. It just mm -hmm. grips and goes. It's freaking cool. It's I, cool, huh? I, I want you to try it, but I don't want to get off of it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I think Mark is a fan and I have loved, loved these e-bikes. Oh, he's coming up from the Connex, which is real steep. <laughs> I came up that faster than our ranger would go. Yeah, <laughs> you did. <laughs> that was 18 miles an hour. Oh my gosh. Uphill on a 13% grade. <laughs> what was your, what was your gears? Uh, no, what was your speed assist? Five. Five. And sixth gear. Oh. Not quite seventh. But not a big deal. It's fun, right? Like, because yeah. when you're going fast, it's actually kind of fun. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, I've used this bike every single day since we got it. I've got 33 miles logged on the odometer, and I haven't even taken it off the property. So, Hobsco is offering a hundred dollars discount on any purchase for all of our viewers. So if it looks like something that might work for you, go check out their website, hobsco.com slash mountain maple ranch and use discount code MMR at checkout for that $100 discount. I don't know if I can get him off the bike tonight. He's just out there cruising. <laughs>